All right, we got a quick one. Let's jump in and get out. So the statement reads, of the following materials, which would you expect to be paramagnetic and which diamagnetic? Aluminum, copper, copper chloride, or CuCl2, carbon, lead, nitrogen, N2, so that's it's diatomic, salt, and ACL, sodium, sulfur, and water. All right. Well, in the book, we talk about all kinds of the different mag uh, magnet magnetizations. So we have diamagnetics, ferromagnetics, paramagnetic, all that stuff. Uh, difference is uh, really a quantum effect, so we can't really get too much involved right now. Though I can link a couple papers that my that may help you understand that. Um, but our solution is pretty straightforward as far as uh, approximations for these things. We say that if uh, the element or compound has odd number of electrons, we expect them to be paramagnetic. So those in the selection of uh, components, not components, uh of elements and compounds would be aluminum, copper, copper chloride, and sodium. Conversely, if they have an even number of electrons, we expect them to be diamagnetic, which are carbon, lead, nitrogen, salt, sulfur, and water. Pretty quick, pretty easy, but there is going to be a difference between all the different types of magnetic or magnetisms and things that deal with the Curie point, Curie temperature, all that kind of stuff. But hold on tight. This is a big discussion for quantum mechanics, which we will get to at some point.